Hey guys, in this video I'm going to try my best to answer a question you guys have been asking on my other Fitbit video. Um, and that question is how to sync your Fitbit time with the actual time. And you can see here I've got a two hour discrepancy. Um, so this is going to be my attempt to answer that. This might not solve all of your guys' problems. And if it does not, please feel free to comment below and I will do my best to either post a new video with your answer specifically or uh, just try to help you in the comments if it's that easy. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your Bluetooth is on and connected to your Fitbit. You can see here, mine says Charge HR Connected. Now you're going to want to go into your Fitbit app. It might sync a little bit at the beginning, just let that run its course. Um, what we're going to do is hit this settings up in the top right corner, go down, and then go into advanced settings. Now you see up here I have my time zone. I have unchecked set automatically, and now my time zone is set to Los Angeles, which would explain the two hour time difference. This might not be exactly your case, um, but in this case that is the problem. You can go up and manually find your time zone or you can go ahead and hit set automatically um, provided that you are uh, oh let's see time zone automatic time zone changes only after you sync your tracker yeah makes sense so as long as you are connected to your cellular network you should be able to automatically sync to the right time zone now what you're going to want to do is go uh, back into your account, hit the device you're trying to sync, go ahead and hit sync now. Give it a second. I already synced all my information, it shouldn't take it too long now. Okay, looks like it's done now. There is 7.03, and where I'm living it is actually 7.03. So if for some reason what I just showed you didn't work, here's another option. It's a little bit more brute force method. Um, but say that your Fitbit is showing 714 and the time is actually 514 and you've already gone into your advanced settings like I showed you and hit set automatically and uh, you're in the right time zone and all that. Here's another option. Go ahead and unselect set automatically and go into your time zones. And now what you need to do, since say it's, uh, it says 714, it's actually 514, I need to find a time zone that is two time zones uh, behind me. So I need to find one that it's currently five o'clock in. Well, I guess if it's actually five o'clock in my example, I need to find one where it's actually three o'clock, uh, which the Pacific time zone would do that. So now I'll go ahead and go backwards, go back again, go into your tracker, go down and hit sync now. And after this is done syncing, now all of this is just an example. You can see on my cell phone, it's actually 715 where I live. But for this argument, we'll say that 715 is wrong and 515 is right. And if you, now that it's done syncing, if I can push this button, now you can see that my tracker says 515. So that's how you can manually offset your times uh, if you find the need. Hopefully this or the first one helped you. If not, please feel free to comment below. I will do my best to answer your questions, give you some help, point you in the right direction, or maybe even make another video if enough people have the same problem. Uh, if this video helped, please subscribe for more videos and give this video a thumbs up. Have a great day.